Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over a topic I've been meaning to show you guys for a long time now, and that would be how to loot the Shoreline Resort. This is one of my favorite places in the entire game for PvP and for looting. Technically, you can make 10, 20, 30, 40 million in a run, assuming you find a red key card, but even if you don't find the red key card, you can make a few million in a run easily. So what I really like about the Shoreline Resort is if you don't find any players, you'll definitely have great loot. And then if you don't find great loot, you'll probably find players so it's kind of a win-win situation uh, you can always expect something good to happen if you go there Okay, I finally wandered my way over here to the resort. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I like to start on the east side. If you spawn over on the west side, that's completely fine too. You just, you know, follow this guy backwards. But my preferred entrance to this place would be the east gate, which is right here. So what I can go ahead and say is that making your way to this point, try to avoid rustling any of these bushes around here and stepping on this metal if possible. If people are inside, they're absolutely going to hear you out here and they will be able to come to these windows and spot you and kill you. So try your hardest to minimize the time spent on that metal there you can kind of gazelle jump over it just like i did and you won't make too much noise also stay close to the building to avoid getting shot from those windows and try and make your way to the front side here um there's been some debate on whether the back side or the front side is a safer route for now i'll just go ahead and suggest to you come in and go into the front side here and stick close to the building because you can get shot through these windows there's just a couple of things you want to do to be safe about this because it's not like this is a secret hidden gym of loot a lot a lot a lot of people know about this place and you will be contested here and on that note i want to point out to you guys something as well there have been an excessive amount of hatchet runners coming to the shoreline resort in hopes to score some quick loot and i want to point out that you guys can get really easy kills on them if you bring any sort of weapon at all especially if you're doing a task where you need to kill you know 10 pmcs with shotguns or uh, thermal m1as or whatever it is that you have to do if you need to kill pmc i suggest coming to the shoreline resort because you will find a bunch of unarmed hatchet runners laying around so we're gonna start here here. this is the east wing guys i'm just gonna start on the first floor i'm just gonna run you through all the rooms that i like to hit this particular route is not exactly the route i would go if i were looting this but i just want to show you guys all the good rooms that i loot every time i come here so starting out east 107 okay this room's gonna have a couple of tech spawns here on the left side i found graphics cards uh and tetrises here as well so be sure to check this shelving and this desk here you can always check these uh med boxes for ophthalmoscope spawns and just meds in general same with these bags and then duffels are always a good thing to hit as well you can find bitcoins uh you know 70k items you never know what you're gonna get out of them but it could be really good so uh moving on that's the only that's the only room i hit down here on first floor of east that requires a key there are a couple of rooms on the sides that have duffels and med bags and you're absolutely welcome Welcome to hit those and it's encouraged but when you're in the shoreline resort and you've gotten here maybe towards the beginning of a round time is of the essence okay because again you're not alone people will be coming here because they know how good the loot is so to speed up the process we're gonna skip all of the duffels and med bags down there and just go to the next spot that is of importance okay and that's gonna be room 222 here and this connects to 226 so you can get either of these keys 226 east or 222 east and they're both going to get you into the same couple of rooms but i prefer 222 just because coming down from this hallway as soon as i enter the resort i can check a room right there that i'm about to go over after i show you this room and then as soon as we get to this door i can open it and quickly go inside before anyone shows up behind me and potentially shoots me okay so once you come in here you want to check the box on the right for a valuable gold spawn same thing with these desks here on the left you can find graphics cards usually there's a grenade box a weapons case a weapons locker here you can find juice and other semi-valuable items here on the bed and nightstand. There's another weapons crate. And then here is the big thing that people come here for, okay? And this shelving here in the corner can, can spawn meds, it can spawn ophthalmoscopes, and it can spawn lead X's. If you aren't familiar with lead X's, they are a single slot item that go for about 1.2, 1.4 million rubles, depending on the time. And they're pretty much one of the most sought after loot items in the game. So if you find, you know, a lead X here, you can go ahead and grab it, stick it in the secure container. And if you die, you won't lose it. Uh, uh, same thing with ophthalmoscopes those are great items at 80k a piece these stems that you can possibly find here along with any meds are always valuable too so don't forget to pick those up and so that is 222 226 of east the next thing we want to hit is actually unlocked always you don't need a key for it it's 218 east you'll come in here and you'll find a duffel bag and then you go over to the balcony make your way into the next room you want to check this bloody corner of the table under the laptop this is our first red key card spawn okay this right here 
This spawn is for a key card, the red one. It's for labs and it's worth about 40 million rubles right now. Are you going to find this often? No, you're not. The chances of finding this are very low, but it's another reason to come to the resort, right? Because if you do find one of those, you are set for, I'd say a wipe. If you're careful and you manage your money, you could absolutely, you know, be set for a whole wipe. So there are no more rooms on this floor that we need to unlock. There are some opened rooms that you can always check if you don't have anything else to loot. Like this room here has a, a med bag and two weapons crates but again we're going for most important rooms and things that normally have to be unlocked so we're going to go ahead and go up to the third floor and i'm going to show you guys a couple of rooms here that i like to loot starting with 310 uh this is a, a classic room it used to be good then it was bad and then it got good again and then it was bad and now i just don't know anymore sometimes you find good stuff sometimes you don't here's a line that's what a little over 100k it takes six slots though so you got to be careful about that um you can find bitcoins gp coins chainlets loose money and stuff in here on the desk both of these this one and this one and then you want to check the two duffel bags as well if you have time because you can always find something good in there uh we're gonna move on over and uh talk about 313 and 314 again these two rooms are connected you only need one of the keys i have 314 no special reason it's just the one that i found first so i'm gonna take you guys in here and what we see is this desk which can spawn i've seen reap irs like thermal scopes here which are great money um but it's mostly weapon attachments there weapons great on the bed um some tools normally in this shelf but you're gonna want to go on the balcony come over into the next room and check the corner of this terror group box okay you can find meds up here and a lead x again that's the 1.2 million ruble item you can find those on that box right there and then there's two uh sorry one weapon crate and then a med bag in here for you to loot too moving on we're gonna run down the hall i carry this key on me it's east 316 this room is not top priority for me but whenever things have already been hit or i'm alone in here and i need more to loot i come in here because there's the two weapons crates and then you can find a bunch of weapon attachments on on these two tables here and then you can find ammo here as well some bs545 some good stuff so this is a nice little room to hit you can potentially get again like uh thermal scopes in here which are worth good money and we have a duffel bag in the hallway usually don't loot that it's just kind of not good for your health if you stand in the middle of the hallway generally speaking but then there is a march room at 321 east you can come in here and loot the pigman and then check next to him on the ground here you can find horse statues gold chains stuff like that uh, but not really top priority so the next next important room that i like to hit would be 328 which is also connected to this closet here and if i'm not mistaken it uses the uh, health resort utility room key which this key will actually open up a couple of rooms in the resort okay so i have that one i open this door these two are connected again you only need one of them either 328 east or health resort utility i believe is what i just used you come into the next room over you got a computer this table spawns electronics you have loose money on this table more weapon attachments scopes and possible reap irs and whatnot and a duffel bag coming back out of here i forgot to mention this table can spawn a gold chain or statues as well so check for that and that is everything on third floor here that i would go loot the next thing the next room that i have a key for we're gonna come over back to the main staircases and we're gonna go into the side little side area here okay and while you're over here you're gonna want to look at 308 and 306 these two rooms again connected you only need one key this is east wing by the way i have the 306 key you can come on in here and you can check these four computers. You can check the fronts of them for flash drives. They'll be sticking out the front. If you guys aren't aware, they're not actually in computers. They stick out the front. And then you can check inside of the computers for CPUs, um, DVD drives, CPU fans, and a bunch of other goodies. You can potentially get graphics cards in there as well. That's a 300K item, so definitely check for that. Here's a little weapon box. And then you can jump over the generator to get to the other room here where you can find drinks, bed boxes, and whatnot. So very lucrative rooms there too. Let me try and rustle my way back over here that's the end of the third floor keys now what we're gonna do is go back downstairs to the second floor and i'm gonna show you a couple more rooms in this little area over here that are important don't forget to check shelving as well guys if this were beginning of the wipe this hose would be going for two or 300k all right so just be aware that all the shelving in the resort can pretty much spawn uh really rare items and and lucrative money making items so come on down to second floor here make sure you check this little closet on second floor because there are key spawns here there's one that's going to spawn at the end of the rug and then there's one that's going to spawn there at the key rack okay so make our way down here again two rooms that are connected you only need one key it's 206 east here 
and then 205 i have the 205 key and uh they'll both get you into the same set of rooms you come in here and what you want to check for is this drawer that's sitting on the bed people don't know they come in here uh i come into this room after it's been opened all the time i come in here i look on the bed and there's a bitcoin sitting in that drawer because they don't know to check for that so you come in here grab that grab some liquids here duffel med box over here um you can find morphine on these boxes as well as other meds a weapon crate chainlets weapon crate weapon crate so another good little couple of rooms along with the locker right there and that is officially it for east wing keys and rooms that i like to hit okay so that's everything on this side that i will generally hit when i'm coming into the resort again there's a couple of rooms that are open right you don't need a key for and they might have a you know a weapon crate they might have a duffel bag but they're just not priority for me when i come in here this is what i loot what i just did what i just showed you guys this is all the stuff that i hit so now we have a choice we can either go to west wing or we can go to the admin part of the resort what i like to do is go to west wing because the other red key card spawns the other lucrative spawns that are going to make you a ton of money are mainly over there admin takes last as far as priority goes there's some good spawns in there okay but that's where we want to hit last if you come into east you want to go to west after if you want to make the most money now i like to do something a little crazy and jump out this window on the side here now the reason that i want to do that okay the reason that I want to come out here is for this ambulance right here. You're going to find meds in the back of it. Someone has told me that there's a lead egg spawn here. I've never seen it yet, but it's worth a check. And the reason, the real reason you want to come out here is for this lower board right here in the passenger side. You can find the blue key card here. It's one of the spawns for it. The blue key card can get you a few million, I think four or five million. And it's another key card for labs, just like the red. So after I hit east, I jump out the window. I come down here, quickly check the ambulance because you want to not be out here, you know, for that long. You want to get inside as quick as you can so then i'll run over here to west under the sky bridge and i'll jump in through this window here so come inside and immediately the first thing i want to do is go into this side room skip that duffel skip everything and run down to the basement the reason i want to do this is because the red key card can also spawn here this will be the second red key card spawn in these lockers here it'll just be sitting on the shelf someone told me that it can also be in this set here i've never seen it there but since you're down here you might as well check for it there's a bunch of duffels and weapons crates in this gym and it's definitely worth looting but as far as priority goes we're going to get to the next red key card spawn as fast as possible because that's what's going to make us the most money so we come up onto the ground floor again and then we're going to go up one more set of floors over here around the corner we're going to go left and remember this sky bridge that's where i jumped out right over there so now we're officially across it and we're going to talk about this 203 west and 205 west again you only need one of the keys because they're both connected so i have 205 we come on in here we check the tables for loose meds there can be lead x's in here confirmed i have found them on the desks in here so check for that you're going to cross this balcony over the weapon crate you're going to come in here and do 203 west and you're going to check this newspaper on the ground next to the bed there is as of i'd say about a month or two in patch 12.4 there's a new red key card spawn confirmed right here on this newspaper so definitely check for that and then there's a med bag and a duffel you can hit if you want okay next thing we're going to do is go up to the third floor and i'm going to show you guys two rooms over here that i like to hit one of them is kind of an optional room and that's 306 here i don't normally go for this unless everything else has been looted because it's just not as top priority okay you can find condensed milk liquids and foods here loose on the ground there's a med box for you these two guys are actually always here they're just lootable okay i have found good stuff on them before and there's even been m4s and morphine laying on this bed so it's a good little room to hit if other stuff has been taken but if you get here first you want to come over to 301 west this is a very important room that is uh has a great chance of spawning really good items first things first you need to check this rug and the top of these uh things okay because you can find electronics like tetrises and graphics cards on the ground here as well as stuff that's actually under the rug so sometimes you'll see a loot indicator which is that white icon in the middle of the screen and you'll actually have to find what's under the rug sometimes it's going to be nothing important sometimes it's going to be really good check for that then grab anything on top of here you can find fire steel golden star ophthalmoscopes 50 100k items okay so make sure you check that thoroughly come into the next room over on the balcony and you're going to check this desk here for lead x's and potential med spawns there's a computer there for you to hit and uh there as well more meds on the bed and then you want to check this green crate if you guys don't know you can find red rubble ice picks in these green crates not just this one 
any of them so if you ever see a green crate like this make sure you check it because it is worth the chance of getting that expensive you know four or five million ruble item so that is everything over here now we're gonna drop back down to second floor okay and then we're gonna go down to first the reason i like to go down first before i hit the second floor over there is because when you're below somebody in the shoreline resort you can actually hear above you perfectly okay you'll be able to hear people above you but the people above you won't be able to hear that you are downstairs it's kind of tricky but trust me it really works so the best place to be in the resort is below somebody always because you'll be able to hear them and they will not be able to hear you uh before we move on to the first floor over there make sure you do check this little side room here you're gonna find potentially gunpowder i've seen here water filters now we'll move on to the rooms that i need to unlock down here on first floor of west starting with 112 west 112 is going to be a blue key card spawn it's going to be on this entertainment center that the tv is sitting on i always like to check behind it in case it's somehow back there people tell me it spawns right here in the corner so just be on the lookout for that otherwise you got food and water you have two duffels to hit but we're going to move on to the next locked room which is 104 of west and that is the third and final confirmed blue key card spawn remember the blue key card is is about four or five million rubles so a great find if you do actually find one that's going to be right here on this desk okay so make sure you check for that and then you'll find more meds on these shelves here that you can always loot now we'll make our way up to of west wing and remember that health resort uh what was it health resort nope not that one storeroom utility room that key that we used to open the far door in east next to 328 well that key also opens this closet as well so it kind of opens all the little closets at the end of the end of the hall so this key He's, you know, not not priority, but it is nice to have. But yeah, so now we're going to move on to the priority rooms here on the second floor, starting with probably the most often hit rooms, and that's going to be 222, 221, and 218. All three of these rooms are connected. You only need one key. I have the 221 key, so we're going to go in through this way. Again, all three are connected. You only need one of these rooms. You come in here, you're going to find a weapons crate and a bunch of med spawns on these boxes. We'll go left just to show you what's in here. There's just going to be a med bag duffel bag and i believe i found money on this table before just sitting around but now I'll move on over to 218 because in here you'll find the i think this will be the fourth red key card spawn technically now the fourth red key card spawn will be here on this blue barrel again that's a key that's worth 40 million you find that you win big so come in here check for that there'll be money on the desk there will be drinks including vodka and whiskey there as a weapons crate ammo usually spawns here you can always find bs ammo for 545 weapons which does get you some good money and that's 218 222 221 so always check for those next we're going to open up 220 220 of west we're going to come in here check left for meds potentially stims as well like sj6 stims can spawn there and that's going to get you 60 70 000 per stim um there's also the weapons crate here and there and then this box in the corner check that for gold loot okay like bitcoins very worth it coming on out we have 219 if you can even see that 219 there this room is kind of uh not a meme we'll call it optional all right you come in here you're gonna find money weapon crate locker ammo spawns and then med spawns it's not always bandages you can find morphine here too so it is kind of nice to hit if everything else is already taken there's some loot in there for you to make money 216 west is the other lucrative room in this hallway you come on in here you check left for electronics graphics cards can be there there might be an m4 laying on the ground here weapons crate drinks including uh, aquamarie and stuff like that so i can make you money two grenade boxes med spawns med spawns and little weapons crate so this is a nice room to hit too you can make some good money doing it and so that is all of second floor all of first floor all of third floor that i like to open up with keys again i just want to mention there are a lot of rooms that we missed that can be opened up or are already unlocked but they're just not something i loot these are pretty much all the valuable keys you come in here with these keys you're going to be making money for sure all right so now that we've hit all of this wing or everything that's you know immediately important to you and we've hit all of that wing we're going to move on over to admin and round this up and finish this out here so we're going to come over to admin. Remember on the tables and couches, both wings, you can find food and drinks just laying around. So if you're ever dehydrated or need food, that's a great place to find it. Also here on this table, you can usually find a food or drink. But coming on over to admin, we're going to start out by going immediately to the staircase. And then we go down and down. Why? That's why I didn't plan this. This is also offline, so this doesn't really matter. But that's exactly why. There's a LEDX spawn here. It can be meds, it can be an ophthalmoscope, or it can be a LEDX. Just like that. 
So you come on down here into admin and there you go. Next, we're gonna move up to second floor and then the third. Just so you know, there are two rooms down here that have duffel bags if you're ever in need of duffel bags, but optional stuff. There's more important things to be found up here on third floor. So as I come up here on third, what you wanna do, there was a lag spike, sorry. What I like to do is use this little potted plant as cover. So I come up and I immediately look left to see if there's anyone holding the angle and using the plant as cover, I can't be shot from that side. So it's a safe bet to look over to your right first as I come up and check left. All right, so we wanna come over all the way. This is technically the east side of the admin building. You come all the way back here into this office, check these shelves for graphics cards and Tetris. Um, and then same thing with this desk here and there's a computer for you to loot. Next room over is a little office room. There's gonna be an electronic spawn there. Again, potential graphics cards. I don't know if you guys are realizing, but there's a lot of places that graphics cards can spawn in a resort. And you happen to need a lot of graphics cards throughout your Tarkov life. So, you know, put two and two together there. We also have the health resort management office safe key which i used to not run this it's not really it's not really important but safes are kind of cool to hit especially now i think they're better than they ever have been they used to just spawn a lot of money but now you can find you know books bitcoins uh teapots bases stuff like that so safes are good to hit next room over this room you can find some loose junk on this table there's a computer back here for you there's a shelf here that can you know spawn junk as well again hose can be worth several hundred thousand depending on the time of the wipe and then this desk here you're gonna want to check for a key i will will throw it up in the corner right now because i don't remember what key it is while i'm recording this but there's a key spawn here so always check for that and now this little room here next door is a computer room there's one two three uh four five computers to hit they can all spawn flash drives all spawn graphics cards inside the only reason i don't like looting this room very often is because it's really easy to be seen from the east wing okay it's easier to be seen while you're in here than it is to see somebody in those rooms i don't know why but i only loot this room if i'm pretty dang sure that there's no one else alive and in the resort so it's a lot safer if you wait until the end to loot this area but if you come on over next door there's an auditorium you can check these chairs for food and drink and there's a duffel bag here for you to check as well and then this chair i believe it is it should be this one right here in the front row can spawn a key for the resort as well so definitely check for that now we come on over to the west side there's gonna be a duffel for you to hit there's a safe i don't know what key opens that safe but i have seen it looted and then there's four eight 12 filing cabinets you can find labs key cards inside a filing cabinet so this is always a great great place to loot uh so be sure to check out those filing cabinets finally we come into this last room here on the side do yourself a favor and always check this corner here in fact rule of thumb check every corner ever that you pass by but that's easier said than done make sure you especially check this corner because people will sit in there often and then you're going to want to come over here again check your corners in the bathroom this locker can spawn a resort key so check right there on the shelf there is a weapon crate right here you can loot if you want i don't like doing it often because that is 301 west the highly contested lead x spawn and people will just you know glance over here when they're in there and uh you're a sitting duck essentially your head's peeking they'll be able to easily kill you and so that is that is the end of the resort run that's everything after that i come out the back room here and we're gonna make a way to rock passage which is always the place i like to check to make a quick escape after you finish looting the resort but i will tell you guys about one last little gym here if you come on down outside the back of admin come on down to this platform and check the box right here check where that k is there's a key spawn there as well that can make you some pretty good money so that is officially the end of the resort run that's exactly how i loot it exactly all the rooms i loot and that's how i make most of my money so now you guys know my secrets and you can do the same thing again i'm not going to sit here and tell you that you won't run into people here all right because it will be contested you're going to find other players here that's just the way it is because this is such a good place to loot these days oftentimes it's hatchet runners like i said so if you need some kill quests if you you know just want to try it out don't be afraid come on into the resort you are welcome here that's it that's the run hope you guys learned something and i hope you guys are inspired to get out there and try to run it yourself uh because it is just a fantastic fantastic place in this game so guys thank you so much for hanging out thank you so much for checking out another video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it helped you out in some way uh don't forget i do stream on twitch as well you guys can catch me live you know five days out of the week if you guys want to talk to me ask me any questions i am always happy to help you i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one peace